All right, I'm gonna do a little bit of Animal Crossing as a bit of a bonus stream. Not gonna lie, it's just to get the turnips this morning and just to get a fly. Not that I wanna sell a bunch of turnips this week. It's just, uh, the garbage thing is not working. So I'm gonna rot some on purpose. Um, yeah, if you're watching Slayer on YouTube, thanks for clicking, by the way. All right. Get that done. It's gonna make an, an expensive fly, though. I guess I didn't order my five items, so... I'm gonna place it. Yep. <laughs> All right. This is probably a better one. Just, yeah, thematically it, it works better. Hey Nick, how's it going? Sleepy? Oh yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, it must be late. the canister. One AM. Oh, that's not too bad. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's still morning for at least the next forty minutes. I mean I just got up to try and catch a fly. Or at least set up to catch a fly. Awesome. More green. Okay. The green ones are handled. Oh yeah, you're here. Where's the, the turn up lady? seen that before. It's 
like an actual outdoor shower. That's probably a good idea. They, they typically have those at the beach. Or at least here they do. Where is she? Before I... I forget. I should probably get these as I'm going. Okay, I'm just gonna go buy one. I haven't found her yet. She should be here. I'm trying to decide what color I would want the shower then. Unless it's only in one color. I don't know, I'll figure it out later. Is she? I haven't run into her yet. She's normally just walking along the beach, but I haven't seen her yet. I need to find her in the next half hour. <laughs> Otherwise I got up for no reason. Well. Started playing this for no reason. What? 
Oh, the, oh wow, she's in the middle. Okay. It's not a bad price, but, you know, I'm just gonna get one. Just one. Okay, and now I'm gonna destroy them on purpose. So I'm gonna place it here. Now just save. I could wait a week. <laughs> but this is this is better. Just get it over and done with now. Then I can clean up all that trash that I threw down on the ground. Okay, so give me a minute. I'm just turning the clock back like an hour. So close it. Reopen it. And now these things should be rotten. I think. I don't know if I have to change it back to the previous day or if it's just any any sense of time. Going backwards will like destroy them. If it's the previous day, I'll just change it back a day and then go forward again. All this effort for just an ant. Okay. Well, not ant, fly. Fly, fly, fly. But this gives me an ant. Which I did already get. <laughs> I was playing this off stream and I found one of those like behind the tree out of sight. Okay, so I'm gonna get clothing now. And then hopefully I can get my fly. <laughs> Hygiene safety hood? What? I've never heard of this.
I I've never seen one of these. Bizarre. I wonder where they wear them. Like, what context? Yeah, what is this? Oh. It's usually part of a jumpsuit. Okay, that makes more sense. This is like the top part of a jumpsuit. Okay. That. Now that seems less weird. Like, this is an isolated item. I was like, what? Okay. That makes sense. It's almost like a hazmat suit. But I want an easy, easy thumbnail. Alright, so, I mean, that's already working. giving me ants, but I want flies. Do I put it in close proximity to the garbage? Just in case so my net doesn't break. Okay, hang on. Assess, assess first, assess first, assess first. as one. Yeah. It 
It's only giving me ants. Just a sec. I have to double check, like, if this is available all year round. It is. Okay, well, I've got my three ants if I want to make a model of ants for some reason. Not that. Excuse me. Crafting recipe. I didn't get one yesterday because of the tournament. Ah, oh, you're cooking. I don't think I have this one. reality right now. I oh, I wonder if I set up the pipe if that'll work. Well, I have set up the pipe. Just give me a fly. <laughs> I don't know if this is less effort or more effort. But at least I know it works. Still ants. I'll go scare them. They're not really worth anything, so... It's not really worth catching them. I guess I'll just have to keep an eye open. Well, unequip the net, so then... I'm not stumbling to get into the pipe. so dumb. <laughs> but I've been trying for like the last four or five days to get this. And supposedly like turn up also works, but hang on, let me move this. I, I probably should have bought more than one. I just didn't want to spend so much money just to get a fly. happen. <laughs> I 
I know this is not the most entertaining thing. This is this game's version of grinding, I guess. Hang on, I hear a balloon. I just couldn't get it to work on the trash. Like, I tried. So hopefully the rod and turnip will do it. can't be that rare. Like, what's the rarity on it? It says common. Okay, well, rarity it doesn't say here for New Horizons. Yeah, but I don't know. <laughs> Let's just keep trying until it appears. I should have bought more than one. I just didn't want to spend more money on it. Like, imagine spending 50,000 bells just to get a fly. Keeping my eye on this rubbish as well, just in case, like, maybe this does work. I'm just hoping that every time I go in the pipe, it resets everything. Like it acts as uh, me going indoors. <laughs> I won't do this until I get it. Like I'll, you know, I have the turn up. I'll try this for a while. If it doesn't work, I'll do some other stuff. Then I'll come back. Otherwise, it's just going to drive people crazy. I just can't believe the ants are here every time. I don't think it's got to do with the fact that it's on sand, but just for now... I'm gonna move this. Something has to work. No, oh, you're here. I mean, okay. She's here for another 15 minutes. You know, I'm kind of afraid that's gonna. Is 
it's going to be too close, and if there is a fly, it'll scare it. The other thing I can try is bringing this with me to the Daily Island and doing it there, because there, there was the thing put out that maybe my island's just too neat, but I don't know. How would it even measure that? go very far like like does this work no like i think even just doing this it makes it respawn okay i mean what's the lesson saying the tunnel or doing this not hmm let me scare you away at the back I'll do something with the shower recipe that I got after. So at least I've done something. Okay, I don't have to run very far for this to happen. it's always ants like flies cannot be that rare I refuse to believe that <laughs> Might have to cave and buy another. It's just to increase the odds of it happening. Like strategically, you have like a turnip trail. <laughs> and then just do laps. Might sound really dumb, but... I would have thought by now this would have done, this would have worked. It's giving me ants, so it's definitely doing what it needs to do. It's just not giving me fly.
the wiki article doesn't really say much information on it. Like, all it says is... Hang on. When raffle seer, spore turnips, or rotten fruit are around, however, flies rarely appear when rubbish is on the ground. Unlike previous Animal Crossing games where they are just the common trash is around. What? Oh no, but this is like talking about city folk specifically. But then it has a line that says, flies rarely appear when rubbish is in the ground, unlike previous Animal Crossing games, where they're just common when trash is around. Hold on, I need to read into this further. I'm gonna get a second source on this. Oh, it says except for New Leaf. Hmm. Okay. Well, I don't know. This is the thing about these these wikis is like they have conflicting information sometimes. This is definitely one of these cases. One of them talks about a specific flower, but it's not in this game. And then another one says that well, if rubbish is on the ground, unlike previous games, but it doesn't say what game. <laughs> As I'm moving, I'm going to keep trying to look at it. There are some articles that say, oh, we left the trash outside for a day or two. Yeah, it doesn't... <sighs> the only other thing is maybe it's just been so tiny that I just haven't noticed it. I don't know. I feel like I would have noticed it. I'm going to do a rubbish trail. I'm not even joking. don't know what else to do with this.
I might have to cave and buy more turnips. Or at least one more. Definitely gonna be up there with like the trickiest bugs I've had to catch. <laughs> I'm just confused as to why the rubbish isn't working. Okay, how about this? Let's test a theory. I'm bringing this with me. I'm gonna go do the Daily Island. Like, what if my island is just too clean? It's the only thing I can think of as to why this is not working. And there is a way to kind of um, lower the spawns to be something else. You get to the island, you destroy all the trees and the flowers, and then that'll reduce the kind of bugs that can spawn. I don't know, I'm desperate here. Try this. This doesn't look like it's a special island either, so that's fine. Well, I mean, it, it is working, ants are appearing. I guess the other thing I should check if, like, this is Garbage Island. Can happen. balloon. Okay. I'll try it here for a little bit. I 
Hang on. Let me try putting it here. I wonder if it matters. Otherwise, I'll just do the thing, which is just chop down the tree so then it reduces the odds of getting other ones. I don't know, I only planted this for a little bit. <laughs> I thought I'd be done by now. I did want to get some lunch. I can't be this unlucky. stump as well. and buy more turnips. I don't know. I really didn't want to, but it's only giving me ants. narrows it down. I don't care about the gyro. It can just stay. Good chilling for the most part, me. Yeah, I got up to, like, ensure that I can catch a particular bug. And it's not going well. It's just the usual curse where the moment I start looking for something, it just disappears off the face of the earth. But I got nothing on today. Just chill Sunday. in the last place you look. Well, this is 
what's supposed to happen is you drop garbage, and so the flies have a chance to hover around the garbage, but I put garbage on my island, and nothing's appearing, so... It also works on rotten food, but, like, I, I just keep getting ants and not what I'm looking for. And I really don't want to buy more of those turnips just to get a fly. Like, one stack is expensive. So I'm doing everything right. <laughs> it's just not giving me it. And it's just one of these things that there's just conflicting information and just... I guess, um, confirmation bias when it comes to what's the best way to get a fly to appear on stuff. So... I'm not really sure who to trust on it. I was gonna do some Risk of Rain, but after I got the flight, and <laughs> it's almost been an hour. Uh, dear. Consensus is drop garbage, then just do laps around your island, and you'll get one. And the word that's being thrown around is easily. Which I don't believe. Tedium. It's no more tedious than games where you have to grind for things. Like if I was playing an action RPG and looking for a particular item, it'd be a similar thing. Doing laps, killing the same thing, hoping it drops. Not that I'm not finding it fun, it's more that I'm just in disbelief. Given the explanation I, I have received on how to acquire this thing. Try fishing as well because if this is garbage, it could add to the odds. don't really sell well, so I don't care. You're free. Not that. Be free. They're trying out Amazon Fresh. Amazon Fresh? Oh, they do the grocery thing. Well, yeah. I mean... One of the stuff's alright. We don't have that here. 
Our Amazon is like a lesser version of Amazon. Like, it's more like a marketplace for people selling third-party stuff more often than not here. As long as the price is, is alright. This man, just some stuff is getting expensive. I had a craving for uh, cup noodles, like instant ramen. I just was at the the, uh, the shopping mall and I was like, alright, I'll just pop into here. And just one of the big grocery chains here had one cup, like... Not the small cup, mind you, but, you know, a single cup for five bucks. So I went to an Asian grocery <laughs> this weekend and got a couple and they were like 50 cents each. So I was like, that's better. It's just here, the problem we have is there's... Two big supermarket chains. So they kind of have like a dual, duopoly, if you will. So they, yeah, kind of do annoying things when it comes to pricing. There is like um, a German supermarket chain that it's like marketed as being the cheaper alternative, and it is. But that stuff is like a mixed bag. Some of it's really good, some of it is like, eh, it's not, not great. And then this group that, they call themselves like the independent grocers of Australia. And they appreciate them trying to, to uh, have, be an alternative. The problem with them is just a lot of the time their stuff is just way more expensive because they're independent and it's just like, I don't know, I guess they have their costs. It's just how it is here. But just five dollars for just a single cup of noodles, it's just... Man, I could, I could go, I could have like another three dollars and go get myself like a quarter piece of chicken, some fries. And that would probably fill me up more, though I guess the instant ramen is like late at night if I feel like food, I, I have that. But yeah, man, it's just, times be tough. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm doubting myself on this, this stupid fly. I mean, you know, I'm not complaining in the sense that you know, it's a struggle. It's just... It's ridiculous. Like, I'm okay, personally. Um, I thankfully live pretty comfortably. I don't have anything to, s to stress about, really. But just how things have been, I guess, in terms of the cost of food and stuff lately has been, yeah, pretty bad. I'm gonna do this for five more minutes, but it doesn't look like it's it's working. So I might buy like some more turnips. You had the best ramen you've had in October. Oh, what type was it? I I was playing Yakuza Five 
a lot in late November and December, and I was visiting this ramen place basically every week. Because <laughs> every time I played that game, just uh, I, I, I was eating in it because it gave you, like, experience and those benefits to eating in that game. So it just uh, it had that food on the mind constantly. Like, I basically became a regular <laughs> at this place. <laughs> Though I haven't gone back um, since, like, late December because they closed up for the year. And um, I guess because I finished Yakuza now, it's like, those cravings aren't happening. But they did a... a uh, they do this chicken broth, and then you can pick between pork or chicken. And the chicken broth, like, it has a standard one, and then they have this yuzu-infused one, and the yuzu-infused one is just so good. Particularly with the chicken, it's like a, you know, a citrus flavor, but like a chicken soup, it's great. Pho is pretty good. Pho is really great. Haven't had it in a while, but... I used to live out further away from the city. There was a suburb that had quite a few Vietnamese people living there, and there was this one place in particular that you would see it. You'd sit down, you know, have your food, and every now and then you'd see this old lady go out the door, go next door, and come back with just, like, bags of, of, of meat. <laughs> and then go back into the kitchen. And that was like, yeah, you knew that it was going to be good stuff. Can't get any better than that. Like, next door was a butcher's, so... I think they owned both. Not getting the fly ever. Do 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 do. I've been doing laps. It's all right. Two more minutes. If it doesn't appear, I'll go back to the island. I thought maybe here there might be better odds because I could chop down the trees and kind of control. I guess the kind of bugs that can appear. I'm getting the ants, but it's just not giving me flies, so I don't know. I tried everything. It was Kateri Ramen at a place called Oink. The owner is supposedly an old-school ramen guy with multiple awards. He makes the noodles in-house old-style with water he gets from a fresh water spring. The broth was infused with black garlic. Black garlic's great, by the way. Um... And also nice and spicy. This good pick coming. I have mine there. If you look at like the channel where the food stuff is. Yeah. Man, that sounds great. Man, <laughs> now I'm gonna want to go to this ramen place. I don't know, maybe, maybe for dinner. to the food spots where they just have, like, a non-chain, a non-chain, like, supermarket, 
or a place where they get their meat that's just like a butcher or just someone selling fish. And those places... Can't go wrong. Well, I tried. I really did. I don't know what I'm do I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm going to have to buy more of them. You don't trust fish near where you live. That's fair enough. Can't say I can say the same here. Here it's like... It's pretty legit. that mate is done that looks really good yeah that looks really good damn it it's making me want to go to the place You have yet to have any good sushi since you moved from Hawaii. Yeah, you're probably spoiled, that's why. It's like... I'd, I'd be highly picky, too. Because most sushi is, like, pretty average. I'm kind of the same. It's like, I... There are places I'll go to that I know are really good. Like... Yeah. Well, I tried my best. I really did. <laughs> All right, let me ask you this. Sushi pizza, yay or nay? Or like sushi donut? These, like, special fancy versions of sushi. No. I mean, to clarify, it's like, still the components of it, it's just shaped into a pizza slice. So it's still done the way sushi is supposed to be done. It's not done like a pizza. I hate that I'm about to do this, but I, I have no option. Yes, I'm just gonna rot them. You haven't tried either of those things. You had a sushi burrito. It's actually all right. A sushi burrito. What's the difference between that and say like a fish burrito? It's, it's 
the the sushi pizza the way it is it's just it's shaped like a pizza but it's not taking the toppings of it of like a pizza like you don't get cheese or sauce on it right it's just the form factor is different man this is so dumb i hate i hate that i have to do this all right hold on Yeah, this is this is what I'm talking about. But I guess there's just the browser complaining. There's like two schools of thought on it. I'm not done playing. This is just I'm going to change time so then it rots the turnips and whilst i'm doing that i'll show you what i'm talking about okay so hold on let me change my system time and while i'm doing that can deliberate over so this is like you know i think this this one's the food crime and then this one is like well it's still the components of it you know the difference is it's just the shape right like you can still see it's done the way sushi is supposed to be done it's just the form factor is different i don't think that's ideal either but i would probably eat that the other one is, I don't know, particularly the pepperoni slices, that just, that doesn't, yeah, it doesn't seem appealing to me. Um, anyway, one sec. I'm just changing the clock back. So that rots the turnips. Okay. There we go. We can get rid of this. Grissetti gonna get me. It doesn't happen in this game. The sushi burrito was basically using rice as the wrap with the fish, etc. And then they also bred the outside of it with panko. There's literally a place called Sushi Burrito that specializes in them. Huh. Okay. Yeah, because this game auto saves, so there's no reset in this. Reset was just a cute way of, like, them being lazy. I know that's a bit of a hot take, but it's like, yeah, let's not implement autosave and let's just put this, this character <laughs> that... Tells you to save your game instead. That's just... Why implement a feature when we can make it cute? It's okay, the game has autosave, this one. You'd eat it, but why? Not to get all Ramsey on it, but it seems a bit dumb and unnecessary. Overly focus on being quirky and trendy. Pretty much it. It's like there's a lot of foods where it just caters to the the Instagram and the TikTok stuff, you know? It's just people taking a photo. They put a bit of effort into Rossetti. Yeah, but I wish they would have put effort into autosave instead. <laughs> that's what that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying it was zero effort, it's just, I think, a focus on something that implemented autosave. Autosave wasn't really a thing when memory cards were a thing. I'm talking about the 3DS game, like, 
I mean, sure, if you take it as far back as memory cards, that's fine. That's perfectly valid. But, like, the 3DS, for example, there's no reason why Resetti needed to be in that. So instead of porting him over to the 3DS... Resetti is fun. Eh. Maybe because I just haven't had much experience with them. And I don't have nostalgia, but it's just... There are certain things in this game where it's like, I get it, they do it to be cute, but sometimes it can be annoying in the long term. Like... Two examples I can think of is when you go fly here. It's... It's just a dialogue screen... That... Really... Could be condensed into su such a simple and streamlined thing that could be still equally cute, but instead you have to go through like three screens to do one thing. And if you make a mistake, you have to start the conversation again. And then you have to connect to the internet if you want to do anything online, and then if, if you close the dialogue, it has to reconnect you to the internet every time you pop up the dialogue. Or well, like, heaven forbid you need to do anything with Sahara, man. That is like the longest conversation in the game. I spend almost 10 to 15 minutes talking to Sahara, just to get everything from Sahara. It's one of those things that I don't, I didn't notice it right away, because at the start, you know, I was like, oh, this is a very cozy and wholesome game. It's more when you're approaching that point where you're like, you've sunk a hundred hours into this game, and then, man, I just want to buy my carpets. Let me buy my carpets. Let me do it <laughs> in, in under 10 minutes. Don't make me commit 10 minutes to just buy carpets from Sahara. I just want to go to Harv's Island. Don't make me spend 30 seconds having a conversation just to go to Harv's Island. And I visit Harv's Island very frequently. It's just... Stuff like that. The Rossetti thing, I'm sure it's cute, but like, I'd prefer the autosave. That's just my take. And I say this because there was once I forgot that Rossetti was a thing in New Leaf and I lost a day's progress and that was not fun. That's just force of habit because I, I played more New Horizons than New Leaf. This is not working. <laughs> what must I do to get this to work? <laughs> I think I have every type of garbage here. So there's like food scraps, there's a can, there's a boot. There's multiple tires. There's multiple rotting pieces of food and the fly still doesn't appear. I'll take a break and water some flowers, because I need to do that anyway. Okay, let's just water. At least this is going better, I think. Still waiting on the blue roses, but everything else is, is in order. Ah, 
Oh, crap, it broke. Okay. Damn it, all this talk about food has made me hungry. <laughs> This happen. I mean, late at night it doesn't happen. I don't get. I've eaten, it's fine. But here, it's I haven't eaten yet. Try trash other than turnips. I literally have every kind of trash there is available in this game. This game doesn't have rotten fruit, unfortunately. I have every possible trash. I, I, I have exhausted my options in terms of what I can put on the ground to attract flies. In this game, it's turnips, tire, boot, and can. That's it. I have cans. You will note that here, on this particular page, screen, every piece of trash in available to me in this game is here. I've also scattered them, so it's like, in a path. I've cluttered- clustered them. I've done both. to buy the watering can from what I've, I've i have read extensively into this like once a day i'm reading into this just for the sake of sanity but i've read that every single piece of garbage has a chance to spawn the fly the reason it seems one insect is because it's spawning one ant. And those are ants. Ants we can ignore. We're not, we don't care about ants. Like, for ants, it has its own set of rules. But for flies specifically, every piece of garbage on the ground supposedly has a chance to put a fly on it. And you can probably have one fly there. But either way, I have a screen that just has... It doesn't have turnips, so then there's no ants there anyway, and it still doesn't work. Like, I, I know, I know you're trying to help, but trust me, I've been doing this for four days. Trying every single combination, like, I've tried only tires, I've tried only cans, I've tried only boots, I've tried everything cluttered together in a massive stack, I've tried stuff in a path with just garbage. Today, I'm trying turnips for the first time. Um, what else have I tried? I've tried fresh garbage. So garbage that I have discovered that same day. Not garbage that I took out of storage. I've tried that too. I've tried it at night. I've tried it during the daytime. There's no raffleisure in this game. If you haven't played New Horizons, yeah, like, I know you have information from previous games, but it's not applicable here. I, I saw I saw the Raphaelisia stuff and like oh there's a flower that attracts it and then I looked it up and it's not it's not in this game. Well, it's not that the wiki is out of date. The wiki is poorly written. It's written in a manner where like the information represents the series instead of being specific about just New Horizons. So it'll mention items that like are exclusive to particular games. And that's the problem with the wikis sometimes. So I have to get like... <sighs> that's the other thing. It's not... I don't look at one wiki. I've looked at three different wikis. To get like second opinions and third opinions. I've done... I've done my due diligence on trying to get this fly. 
Which makes this so much worse than what it is. I'm just gonna leave the stuff there and it's just whatever, like at some point I'm sure it'll happen. But at least today I, I got up to buy turnips. That's a tick. The wiki has led me astray, like it had incorrect fishing information for the southern hemisphere as well, so it's just I've I've been been careful on what I follow. <laughs> I'll, you know, the whole, the whole last two minutes have been, it, it was almost like a green and green eggs and ham speech, and just like you know. What I've tried to do to get a fly, it's almost like green eggs and ham. It's okay, I think this is just like what's going on with the flowers, you know, I am doing everything correct when it comes to these flowers, but like some of these colors took two months to appear. So I just have to be patient. That's all it is. I wish I was exaggerating, but quite literally two months. probably pick up these twigs because they're gonna be in the way of potential wow spots. There we go. You're curious about the fly, don't want to make you feel bad or annoyed. I've done a i I'm sure I've done a stupid amount of research, but you YouTubed it. And I know it's simple, right? Like I know. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> the some of these some of these flowers are like the, the simplest thing in the world. And I've, I've just had terrible luck with it. Like, it's just an RNG thing. I, I, like, I know. But this is just my luck, is... I, I, I swear, when the moment I start looking for something, I just get the worst luck. But if I'm not looking for something, like... I'm just playing the game and not it's not even a thought in my head. I have insane luck. I have really good luck. But the moment I'm like, okay, I'm going to try and acquire this item or this thing, it becomes horrible. Like, the, uh, I'm not kidding. Like, these flowers are probably the easiest ones to do because the moment you get orange, all you have to do is put orange. And you'll get purple easily. And it took, like, two and a half months to get purple. Just purple. The color pink, which is just combining two of the basic flowers, took me like a couple weeks. And people are just perplexed, like, well, what are you doing? Like, you should have that color already. It's like, I know! <laughs> the lady got it in 20 minutes, and it's just doing nothing different to what I'm doing, right? There's garbage on the ground. The kind of garbage that I ha I have on my island, she probably has as well. But I'm just not getting it. Why? It's just bad RNG. That's all it is. Like, I'm not doing anything wrong. I know I know this for a fact. Like, I, I have done what I can. It's just not appearing.
she had it in a three by three grid inside a dirt fenced area. Okay, well, one of the possibilities I had, maybe not three by three grid, but I definitely had, before today, before today, there were no turnips. Let's put that clear. So before today, I had seven pieces of garbage here, just piled up like, so there was one around the rock. So there was, it was like a three by three grid with the exception of the middle, but then there was a piece here and a piece here. And then over on this side, which it's still here, I had additionally like another seven pieces of garbage. There's still six here because I took one away. So th this, the right side of the island was cluttered garbage and then here it was like less cluttered. And I was going back and forth between the two. I don't think fencing matters. At least I don't think so. Dirt, maybe. But, like, why, why would it make a difference? Like, none of the wikis mention terrain. That might just be an aesthetic thing she did, you know? I don't think it's too many entities on screen at once. Because then when I went to the island, I have taken my garbage to the daily island where there's nothing on those daily islands, and it still didn't work. But okay, let's... Let's humor... that logic, because... who knows? If I go to a particular part of the map where there's basically nothing, which is a part of the map that is within reason, right? There's, there's just like five items. There's not a whole lot here. So let's... I'm telling you, dude, like, it's, it's just chaotic luck. Alright, so... This is pretty reasonable, I think. It's like, it's not nine pieces of garbage, but it's a pile. It's isolated, it's away from everything, so it's there's not a whole lot going on. So if you follow the logic of like, you know, how a game would function under the hood, by now this would probably be despawned, out of memory. Now let's walk back up. Those shells might be taking up loot drops, but it's just... It... Okay. If we follow that logic, that would affect fishing, and I would never find fish, and I would never find other bugs. But we're seeing other bugs appear, so I don't think it's that. Right? Like, if we were to say, okay, shells and furniture affect things, then I would never find critters, ever. Like, I think there's just a set number that is separate from everything. I don't think that tracks, just if you follow the logic of it, right? If really what I have planted, what's on the ground, and my furniture affects, like, the animals and, well, the bugs, the fish, and everything, then I would never find bugs or fish. Right, but there's still plenty going around. Like, look, there's, there were two here. There was a fish in the ocean. Like, stuff still spawns. You're invisible and you close your eyes, do you still see your eyelids? What? That's just... That's just like a 3am existential crisis question. Well... The concept of invisibility is not that your body parts disappear. Isn't the concept of invisibility just like you're effectively causing light to refract around you and then it's just 
the human eye can't see you, but everything is still intact and nothing... Like, it's not like you you vanish your body parts, right? It's just got what... I know invisibility isn't a thing, but, like, conceptually, it's similar to camouflage and it's just got to do with light. Like, that one I have an answer to. It's like, nothing would change. It's your art. Nothing is disappearing. It's just got to do with light. <laughs> A fire truck is actually a water truck. Well, that's just semantics. I'll give you one that Cat gave me. A worm is all butt. Take that over there to the others. People have had luck placing trash outside their home. Yeah, this is one of these things that it's everyone has had a different way of finding the fly. It's just. I think it's just confirmation bias where, like, people will say how. Well, the circumstances around when they got their fly. And so, in an act of desperation, people will try that, thinking, oh, maybe that'll help me. But I think all this is is just random is random, and I'm just unlucky. There was that fish that I went after, and I spent four hours going after the fish, and I was doing everything correct to get the fish. It was 11.59 p.m. And I gave up. I was like, alright, well, this fish is gone now. In the next minute, it's gonna disappear and I'm just gonna have to visit an island or something to get it. And then, in the next 20 seconds, I got it. So I caught the fish with 20 seconds to spare before it vanished for the season. I've tr Oh yeah, that's, that's one of the other things I tried. I... I tried leaving the garbage in a particular spot for three days. So that's another thing I tried. The garbage was originally on a hill, piled up, and that stayed there for three days. We've been joking about it, like, when Confirmy's here, Confirmy just says, Oh, no, no, see, it's gotta be a full moon, it's gotta be a Tuesday. <laughs> it's gotta be, like, just all these extra conditions that I haven't tried. And the funny thing is, I have tried to catch the fly under a full moon. I have tried to catch it at night, at day, during a shooting star shower. During the switchover from one zodiac sign to the next. <laughs> It needs to be 29.2 degrees, windy, like, ugh. It'd be hilarious if it wasn't so sad, just... <laughs> it needs to be February 29th, it needs to be a leap year. So, you know, if I wait a month, hey. I thought you meant the temperature, but, yeah. February 29. Needs to be a leap year. Jupiter needs- Jupiter needs to align with one of its moons. I 
I know, I know everyone's trying to help, but this is like, this is one of these situations where it's just, trust me on this. I have read the wiki probably and just posts and advice like to the point where I think most people would have probably given up at this point. <laughs> and I'm just questioning my own sanity on it. Oh, man. So today was my hope that, well, I haven't, because it's in the wiki, it says turnips also spawn flies, though rarely. So I thought, okay, maybe bring turnips into the mix might help. But it's just, man. I should probably sell the coconuts, I got plenty. I've truly created an island paradise, just unironically. Well, ironically, I guess. It's just the irony of this is I've created an island paradise where no flies seem to exist. <laughs> and that is causing me grief. My island just doesn't have flies. Like, imagine that you could go holiday somewhere where there are no flies. Just, that is truly a paradise. Okay, um, well. Let's just, let's just take, take a break. <laughs> or lose my mind. Um, there's a new crafting recipe I got that I kind of wanted to try out. As it says, they may sound, when you were eight, you went to Hawaii, and that was one thing you took away from the vacation. No flies, really. Damn, I wish Lella was here. I'd ask him about that. That sounds really nice. It's not the case here in Australia. Get those big ones. Not gigantic, but the annoying ones. Where is it? You always said she didn't have a problem finding a fly that she did have to sacrifice a chicken. <laughs> Uh, it's okay, like what I'm going through right now, whenever I play whatever I play next, just watch, it's gonna be really good luck. Five of them. Oh, but it's specifically pink ones. Oh, well it's okay. Alright, let me do this. Oh. Horses that fly with horses that fly, flies with present. I can't read right now. <laughs> but I mean, being used to them doesn't change the fact that they are annoying, right? Okay, so let's see how this thing looks like. Let's take a break. 
from this insanity. Oh, I put away my iron. My bad. It's alright, I have the spoiled turnips. I'm gonna leave all the trash there. I'm not gonna touch it. Maybe... I doubt this is a thing. I think I've even tried it, is just not touching the game for a couple days. Okay, let's see how this looks. If I was to put it somewhere, it'd probably be on the other side. the outdoor showers so you can wash the sand off you. Like, I guess I'd probably remove this tree and put it here and set it up properly. Oh, yeah. It's kind of nice. And I put simple panels behind the... Yeah, it would work. Can I change the color? <laughs> I give up. <laughs> Honestly, I think I have to give up for now. Like, I, I can't... I can't do this for two hours straight. Like, that's... Just, I'm just... I'm gonna lose it. Okay, you can't change it. Strangely, can't pick all the colors that they come in, but okay. That's fine. We'll go with this. I like this idea. Um, I guess I gotta pick more pink ones. In Alaska, after you get over a certain height, you no longer get any mosquitoes. Oh, but I guess that's like a temperature thing. I mean, it's kind of the same, like, roaches stop appearing when the temperature drops below a certain threshold. Or at least they're less likely to. I can't remember what it is. say this has been productive, but it really hasn't been. <laughs> it's probably the least productive animal crossing session I've had in a while. Okay, I should go get my recipes and stuff for the day and the art. Check the fossils. Let's just finish the daily stuff. got to do with oxygen density. Oh, that makes sense. It could be both, like, thermal and air-related. They also favor areas where there's, like, water, so... It could be, like, like an area nearby just had more water or something. Venues set up now.
I don't know what must what must I do to do this. Okay. Anyway. It's okay. Whatever game I play outside of this is going to have the best luck there is. That's just how it works for me. I think I'm just hungry. <laughs> In my mind, I was like, okay, I'll go buy the turnips. I'll just fast forward the, t the clock so then they rot quickly. And yeah, that should get me to fly, and then I'll just do the daily things, I'll go eat, and be nice. I think that's, it's a fake one, so. Oh, but I guess I didn't have to buy it, because tomorrow's Monday. It would have reset anyway. Uh, don't worry about fortune... I guess that's all I'm gonna do. I don't need to customize anything today. Okay, uh, uh, let's go get the recipes from Happy Home. Check the exchange rate. I'm, I'm still looking at articles on this stupid fly thing on the site. Uh, I'm almost curious to, like, fire up New Leaf and just do the circumstances in New Leaf and see how quickly I can get it in New Leaf. I bet I could get it right away in New Leaf. What is this frog? Hello. What's a cool frog? Oh wow, it's Phil. Dead horse? Ah. Oh. I'll get around to this festival thing. I just need to feel creative. <laughs> Excuse me, excuse me. Be approaching being done with recipes or cooking ones anyway. It's giving me a lot of duplicates. Yeah, I mean, okay, this still looks like there could be a few. There's still beverages to find, I guess. It looks like I have all the jelly. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, check the cafe and the exchange rate.
I was hoping for fish and chips. I think the funny thing I did that I didn't realize until later is both of these characters that are working at this cafe have the pop star uh, personality. So they both say things like, oh, just wait till I get discovered. <laughs> Pretty fitting. Bones? It's like the bones. Yeah, that's that's a decent exchange. Alright. Getting closer to that yacht. Okay. Um, I think I got that one. I don't have a lawnmower. Now that it's here, I may as well order it. Oh, they got a truck. Yo, good. I've been wanting that one for a while. I have an idea to try and do like a food truck thing, but it, it might be a bit amb ambitious. I don't know. Okay. I guess I'll order some simple panels. I'm gonna need them. Can't have too many. Alright, we're done here. Hey, hey, hey Coloran, how's it going? I'm just uh, gonna probably wrap up in a minute. I'm getting really hungry and this fly thing <laughs> didn't work out. Um, what else do I have to do? I feel like I'm forgetting something. What am I, what am I forgetting? I got the beach recipe, right? Yeah, I did. Glowing moss bolter. That was the restaurant recipe. It's like past 1pm and I haven't eaten anything. You're winding down, getting the kids to bed. Ah. Yeah. I was just hoping that I could get the fly within an hour or something, but it just hasn't happened. What's look for long? I don't know. That's the thing. I have to see what I can make. If it comes to us, I'll just eat that instant ramen that I bought. <laughs> but I went out of my way to get. All right, hold on. Chicken's better. It is, but it takes a while. All right, I am adding a pile of bones. <laughs> Where's my fly? I've sacrificed. Which would be kind of cool if there's like a treasure chest item and I put that here. Um, that aside. <laughs> okay, well, I guess on the bright side, I, I do have the rotted turnips now. I know that sounds strange to say, but I 
I have my trail of garbage. What am I gonna play? Um, Mario and Nero most, most likely. Since I played this during the day, I don't know. I might do something random, but that might be earlier. I'm not gonna be up late, because, you know, it's Sunday and tomorrow's the work day. I'm a little bit upset at this. Yeah, I mean, no planned stream Monday. That's the words I would use. It's like all other days, it's just if I feel like it, I'll do something, but I'm just trying this year just to give more time to myself where I'm not just doing this all the time. a sad emoji. Resignation. One that best expresses just how I feel at the end of this. Probably not, not the best uh, stream of this today. Wait, oh. Wait, really? That's only 2,000 fish now? Okay. Alright, let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, well, I, I tried my best, but I, I don't want to, like, keep hitting my head against this brick wall. I think maybe I might do this separately in my own time. Just watch some shows and just run around in circles in the background. <laughs> I think I'm probably going to do... That's why I'm going to have to find this fly, because... I can't believe some people have found it in like 10 minutes tops. And here I am. This is like maybe the fourth day of me trying to find it. Not co consistently. But every time I look for it, I spend at least half an hour on it. And I still haven't found it. So, I don't know. Alright. Well, that's it for the little bonus stream. Which was a bit anticlimactic. And I didn't really do a whole lot. So... If you did stick around to the end of this for some reason on YouTube later, thanks for watching the attempts at me trying to catch a fly and losing my mind. If you did enjoy uh, and you want to support the channel, just do the thing like the like button or you can also watch me do other things that don't involve trying to catch a fly for two hours by clicking one of the videos that pop up. So either way, thank you to those that do that. It does help the channel out a lot. But I'm gonna go get some food. I'm hungry and I'm just gonna forget about this for a while. But yeah, we'll do more evening stream later. Alright. See you, YouTube.